As cloud architects, we're always looking for ways to improve the performance and security of our cloud infrastructures. That's why in today's video, I would like to work with you on the Azure DNS resolver that you can see here with the design and the Terraform code. So in this video, you will learn three things, how to go to templates and how to use these templates for your own use case, how to split your Terraform code into multiple files and how you can design and manage your own CI/CD workflow on Brainboard. So let's get started. So to be able to use it, simply need to go to templates and here you look for Azure DNS resolver. To use it is very easy. Simply need to clone the template into a new architecture. So once you have done it, you have the design and your Terraform code as well. You also have the readme that we have included for you with the description, the architecture components, the requirements, and how to use the architecture. You also have all your Terraform files here with the main.tf, for example, here, the providers.tf. So to customize your own provider block, you simply need to go here and then you can customize it the way you want. Then here we have the variables. So to create your own variables and manage them on Brainboard, simply go to input. And here you can create variables either at the organization level, project, environment, or architecture level. You can also create all your locals here. For example, for this infrastructure, we created 10 variables that you can see here. So here, if we look at them, for example, here we have specifying the name, specifying the scope, the type is the string, the default, and the description. Here, for example, for the tags, we have included the name, the scope architecture, the map any, default, and then the description as well. So here, on Brainboard, this is a way you can manage all your variables. So once we have done it, here we can also look at the backend. So here, to set up your own remote backend, what you can do is that you can go to data, and here, you can set it up either for AWS S3, Azure Blob Storage, Terraform Cloud, or Brainboard Backend. Now that we look at all of our Terraform files, what we can do is that we can create multiple Terraform files and split our resources in these Terraform files. So here, for example, we select all of these resources And as you can see, every time I, I do something on the design, it will be automatically reflected on my code here. So here I continue selecting these resources. And here, as you can see, I selected 15 nodes. So now what we can do is that we can group the resources in the same Terraform file. Now we give it a name, for example, vnet hub. So here we have the main.tf and here we have the new Terraform file that we have created with all of these resources. So here, if you want to look at how we have configured, for example, specific resource, you simply need to choose the resource that you want. Here you will see it in the code. You can also open the ID count. We have the required parameter, the advanced configuration, the extra attributes of Terraform with the meta arguments, the count, the depends on, and the for each. Here, for example, you can look at this resource. So here it's a private DNS resolver. You open it, and then you have the type of the block is a resource. You can also use resource and data on Brainboard. You have the type of the new resource, the resource name, and you have injected your own Terraform code here. So now we can do the same thing for the VNet spoke. We select these resources. Here we have selected five nodes. So here we create VNet spoke. Then we save it. So here we have created the main.tf, the VNet hub. and the VNet spoke as well. 
So now what we can do is that we can go to the deployment tab. Here we have two options. The first one is to do Terraform commands, validate, plan, apply, because you can also provision your infrastructure from Brainboard and destroy as well. So here you can also design your own CI-CD workflow. Here, add a task. We will do Terraform validate. Here we choose a name, Terraform validate. Then here we can do Terraform plan. Choose the task and choose the name as well. Terraform plan. Now we can do TFSEC for security check. Here, ignore failure. And here, close it. Now we can either notify our team members either from email or from Slack. Here, notify security sim. For example, here we can choose Marcella of Brainboard. .co. Please check the security requirements of this infrastructure. Okay, now she will receive an email. Now, what we can do is that we can check the cost of this infrastructure before deployment. So, here, cost estimation. Now we have the API key. We choose, for example, to notify, notify cloud fin apps here, Remy .co. Please check the cost of this infrastructure. Close, and then here we can do, for example, Terraform apply but here acquire approval here terraform apply here we choose the person that we want to approve here we close it so here to be able to do terraform command you simply need to go to cloud providers you set up your own cloud credentials for example for azure here specify all of these fields once you are done, it, then you can go and here you save the workflow. You check, for example, here, ignore failure, it is good. And then you run the pipeline. So here you will have the status of each task. So here it's pending and here is scheduled and here you will have the output. So we are going to look at it. Here, the Terraform Validate is running. Success, the configuration is valid. Now, the Terraform plan is running. As you can see, Terraform has created a log file here. And then we have the output plan 24 to add, 0 to change, 0 to destroy. Here, TFSEC is actually running. Here we see that it is failed. So here, TFSEC has actually checked the Terraform code. And here, the result high, the ID, the impact that we have using password authentication is less secure, resolution. And then we have, for example, here, the documentation that we can use. Here we have the result one, result two is the same. Here we have the status is high, the impact, the resolution. So now the security team has received an email. We'll go back to Brainboard to do all of these modifications and to make sure that the infrastructure is secure. Here we have the cost, as you can see, overall total cost is 1,444. Here we have the monthly quantity cost, depends on usage. And here we can also build our own FinOps strategy to improve the cost of this infrastructure. Here, 
Cloud Finamps has received an email. And then here, we cannot provision the infrastructure as it requires an approval. Here, what we can see as well is that the status is failed, the ID, the pipeline, where did it fail? It failed for TFSEC, the initiator, and the date. So here, what we can do, we can also convert this workflow into a template. Once you have done it, you will be able to use either the work of other team members or your own template. For example, here, let's say that you would like to look at the default workflow. To use it is very easy. Create the workflow from template. And then you can use, for example, OPA that you can see here. And you can use the webhook to update third party. So here in this video, I showed you how to use this infrastructure, how to split and create multiple Terraform files, and how to design your own CI-CD workflow on Brainboard. I hope this video has been useful. And if you have any questions, I will be happy to help you build your own infrastructure on Brainboard. Have a great day.